for this trap shit. Sergeant Smack make it backflip. Telly Hank it with the action. With the vital speaking Spanish. Frank Matthews, how I vanish. Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut. Go BBS is on a beamer. When Fat Cat was tearing queens up. Fall off the profit, not the re up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus. Uptown like I'm Baby Major. Just caught a touchdown. On the evening of November 10, 2017, Mark D'Amico, the boyfriend of Caitlin McClure, took a photograph of McClure and Johnny Bobbitt Jr., a homeless man, standing at the Girard Avenue exit ramp on Interstate 95 in Philadelphia. Within hours of taking this photo, McClure and D'Amico created a charitable campaign on the website GoFundMe.com. The paying it forward story that drove this fundraiser might seem too good to be true. Unfortunately, it was. The entire campaign was predicated on a lie. Less than an hour after their GoFundMe page went live, McClure, in a text exchange with a friend, stated that the story about Bobbitt assisting her was fake. Specifically, she wrote, okay, so wait, the gas part is completely made up, but the guy isn't. I had to make something up to make people feel bad. So shush about the made up stuff. She did not run out of gas on an I-95 off-ramp, and he did not spend his last $20 to help her. The stated goal of this campaign, as expressed on the GoFundMe site, was to raise $10,000 to provide Bobbitt with, among other things, first and last month's rent at an apartment, a reliable vehicle, and four to six months' worth of expenses. But this was an irresistibly heartwarming tale, and the trio's international media blitz to promote the fraudulent campaign convinced more than 14,000 donors to contribute a total of nearly $403,000 during last year's holiday season to help Johnny Bobbitt. My office has charged Mark D'Amico, Caitlin McClure, and Johnny Bobbitt Jr. with second degree theft by deception and conspiracy to commit theft by deception. So you're not wearing the glasses because you're Hollywood now. <laughs> no, man, I got an eye infection in my right eye. But it's Johnny Bobbitt Jr.'s face and story that's gone viral, with thousands giving to the Good Samaritan after an honorable deed two months ago. I was driving down 95 and <laughs> ran out of gas, so I pulled over to the side of the road. He walked up and he said, get back in the car, uh, lock the doors, you know, I'll be back. Kate McClure says she could tell the man walking up to her off the highway was homeless. Got her gas to help her get back on her way. Wasn't expecting anything in return. Me and my boyfriend Mark went back the next day. He five gave seconds, him $100. Until I was ecstatic. That gesture of helping stranded motorists is something Johnny has done countless times. How often would you go to see Johnny? A few times a week. Unknowingly, he was about to get hit with karma. What if we started to go find me for this guy? We set it up in the car on the way home. You're going from zero, literally, to 300 and some odd thousand dollars. It's like winning the lottery. Less than a week ago, Johnny was sleeping under a bridge. Today, he's been given what he calls a second chance. I mean, of course, you know, I want to change my life. I want to give a lot of it away. Will you get a house? Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to get a place to live. There won't be no brand new car either. <laughs> no? No, no oh ma'am. Used car? Absolutely. Maybe a truck? Absolutely a truck. <laughs> and Johnny wants to say thank you to all the everyday people giving to him. In two weeks, they've received over $360,000 in donations. At one point, Johnny actually asked Kate and Mark, her boyfriend, to stop the fundraiser. They did that for 12 minutes saying other people needed the money, but they received backlash from people who said, no, I insist on donating wow. to Johnny. Now, we're also tell uh, they're also telling us that they've been speaking to a lawyer and a financial advisor about Which wise smart. choices yeah. for this money and, and helping Johnny. I love that he says he wants to pay oh, it forward goodness. again with yeah. all of these donations. And that's his first, res his first inclination yeah. is to pay it forward, not to buy a home or to take care of his own needs. Yeah. But it's to give back. He says that there are causes outside of homelessness that he also wants to give to, but he's still processing this. He's Amico very overwhelmed. originally faced, again, about a half dozen charges, but today he pleaded guilty to a single count of misapplication of entrusted property. And as part of this uh, deal, he agrees to serve five years in prison and pay restitution. D'Amico's attorney says more or less this uh, action today kind of clears the path also for the federal case where he faces more serious charges. Including money laundering and wire fraud conspiracy. 
D'Amico's attorney says that he plans to fight those charges. We're live in Mount Holly. Cleve Bryant, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Cleve. What's Yo, we back. It's your boy, Papala. Mob ties. We on our way to Boardington Town, New Jersey. But we gonna pop out in Philly. But we got hair on this first, so that shit is not surprising. But we are going to be covering a guy by the name of Mark D'Amico. Also have to talk about a female by the name of Kate McClure. And also a gentleman by the name of, let's just call him Mr. Bobby. <laughs> Yo. So, man, y'all seen it. They pretty much concocted a GoFundMe scheme that ran it up to 400,000. They was, they had a goal of 10,000, but the story was so heartfelt to America. They ate it up and that led to my man, Mark D'Amico eating it up. It's, this shit is just, I. It's hard to even where to, to start, where to pinpoint. But so by all accounts, they had the fake story where she ran out of gas. The homeless guy seen her, told her to stay in her car. I'll go get gas. Came back with the gas. Boom. They did the story. Now, the part where it goes downhill, because this had me thinking how many of these schemes that you see or how many of these GoFundMe campaigns that you see are schemes and i noticed that when the charges were brought down um her cell phone records were subpoenaed i'm gonna say it all went down when they tried to fracture the relationship with the guy that brought in the money or uh, i want to say break the hand that fed you because they concocted the scheme that brought in the money but yeah, when they try to cut off the breadwinner. So the first thing I want to do is I'm not doing no scheme like this. Well, I pr probably would have. I mean, uh, I probably would have, man. But mm, when I seen what my guy, Mark D'Amigo, was charged with, I'm pretty much good on this one. I'm sure it's another way that I can make a make some a little bit of scratch. But so the thing that kind of stood out to me was according to some accounts, it's like Kate McClure set up the situation and my man, Mark D'Amico is the one going down. So as you've seen, he was sentenced to five years in state prison and I seen as of January 2020, he was indicted on a 16 count indictment, um, money laundering, conspiracy. Now, huh, I couldn't find any recent updates as far as 2021. I know sometimes when cases are pushed out, but let's just say that it's hard to beat the federal government definitely on a money laundering charge because they they're not just woofing when they call you in the court saying that they got you on money laundering uh, a lot of times they probably got paperwork that's gonna show this and once you smack the conspiracy on top of that um i'm gonna probably say my man is looking at probably a a 15 but my legal experts y'all get in the comment box and y'all let me know um what y'all think he facing and I can't even really ask, is this worth it? Because this is not one of those cases that's worth it. But this is definitely an eye opener to show you that. <sighs> yeah, you can get burnt a lot of ways, man. <laughs> you can get burnt a lot of ways. So watch your steps. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. It's your boy Popalot, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. I'm up. Keep bringing y'all this real trail spill shit. You already know it. And y'all know what it is. Mob, 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 ties.